Been through some trials and tribulations That's y'all, that's y'all We just been through some trials and tribulations That's y'all, that's y'all But they know that this cake is still baby Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fighter Get Knocked Out. Matchroom promoter Eddie Hearn says Javante Davis is psychologically in a better position than Ryan Garcia to win their battle in April when they meet for their mega fight on Showtime pay-per-view. Let's dive into it, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Hearn noted that Ryan Garcia, 23 wins, no losses, 19 Fantastic wins by knockout has had recent problems psychologically and although he's come back from that he's not yet fought anyone near the level of Gervonta Tank Davis who is 28 wins no losses 26 spectacular wins by knockout. Indeed, the 24-year-old Ryan has fought just once since returning from his mental health issues, beating a washed-up 33-year-old Javier Fortuna, who has been soundly defeated just a year before Joseph Jojo Diaz in 2021. Fortuna is not the type of opposition Garcia needed to fight to show that he has past problems and ready to tackle a fighter at Gervonta's level. You hate to say it, but Fortuna was another gimme opponent for the Golden Boy promoted Ryan, similar to his mismatches against these easier marks, named Emmanuel Tango, we all remember that one, Luke Campbell, at least Luke dropped him, Francisco Fonseca, and Romero Duno. If you know anything about boxing, you understand that those fighters were the equivalent of low-hanging fruit for Ryan Garcia to pick off and be made to look good against. They tried to get him a shoe polish, even though the shoe polisher was a fiend getting $2 just to get a hit. In other words, these were all showcase fights to give the impression that Ryan was the real thing when it's pretty apparent that it's all smoke and mirrors, as we've seen in this sport of boxing many times. And I quote, this is Eddie Hearn, There's a lot of questions about Ryan Garcia, but he keeps answering them to a certain level, but he's yet to fight people at a certain level as consistently as Gervonta Davis. Still quoting Eddie Hearn, but he's going to get hit against Ryan Garcia, talking about Tank. Ryan Garcia is very long. He is 5'10". He has very fast hands, allegedly. Where he struggled a little bit against Hector Garcia, it was the range, said Eddie Hearn. It's difficult to agree with Hearn when he says that Ryan Garcia keeps answering the question about his career as he's not faced anyone that was near as good as enough to him to prove that he's not a carefully packaged Instagram fighter who has the right look to attract a big audience. Because you got to remember, boxing is all about tickets. We greedy in this sport. He got over 9 million Instagram followers. And you think they not going to come and support King Ra? Come on now, man. They going to be eagerly and um, they going to be fucking... They gonna be them tickets gonna be flying off like pancakes if we fight Tank Davis. Ryan will have to beat these type of fighters to prove he's not a mirage, such as Shakur Stevenson, Frank Martin, Vasily Lomachenko, Riggers Prograis, and Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia has an even longer range and more power than Hector Garcia. I give Ryan Garcia a shot in this fight, said Eddie Hearn. He, meaning Ryan Garcia, came through his mental health battle in a close fight. I give the edge to the person I know psychologically who is in a better position, Gervonta Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, I'ma be hitting y'all upside the head more often than not, but for now, this is fight and get knocked out, and I'm O-U-T, and I'm out. Ah.